present-day quantum chemistry has reached a remarkable level of description for atoms and molecules. However, present-day methods have several challenges and drawbacks, uh, which we try to tackle in this ERC proposal. Katarina Bogusławski, laureatka grantu Europejskiej Rady do spraw badań naukowych. So I personally work here at the Institute of Physics, but uh, I'm not a physicist, not a pure uh, physicist. I am a quantum chemist, but I actually work on the uh, interf uh, interface between uh, quantum chemistry, physics and applied informatics. And uh, so in this project, I will try, or I plan, to combine all these disciplines and develop a new quantum chemical models that can be applied to study the electronic structures and properties of uh, atoms and molecules that uh, cannot be described uh, experimentally. So our, our methods are designed to be uh, robust, uh, accurate and easy to use for non-expert users, which is very important if we want to study uh, large systems that are, for instance, encountered in organic electronics. So my, my project uh, is very ambitious. It has several risk components um, because the, the key idea of how I want, how I plan to improve the theoretical models without increasing the computational complexity is uh, rather risky. So in other terms, it uh, might succeed or it might just fail. And this is really hard to tell a priori how the success rate will be, but I'm very confident that if I will be able to gather, or when I will be able to, to gather a top-notch research team, that we will basically uh, succeed in uh, reaching our goals. Uh, we want to have a method that uh, does not uh, increase the scaling, but we want to uh, approach systematically uh, the exact result. And this is basically the risky part uh, to proposing such a scheme, and at the same time, uh, we want to do this uh, at the large scale, so not just looking at small systems, small molecules, but really going to molecules that are encountered in uh, materials of uh, importance in our daily life, for instance, uh, organic light emitting diodes, so like our, our screens, for instance, or uh, in solar cells. So this is very important for us that we want to improve these materials uh, using quantum theory, uh, and we propose a rad rather um, radical scheme for that. Uh, so this uh, project is a group project, so everything we will achieve will be a group effort. And the team consists of uh, two students, uh, two PhD students and one postdoc. And every team member uh, will be involved in a critical part of the project. And the project itself has three main components. So first we have a mathematical development where we uh, will derive all the equations we need. Then we will, uh, the second part, we will implement them in our open source uh, software package, uh, which is called PyBest that we develop here at uh, NCU. And we will then also optimize the code because we want to study large systems. So we have to have efficient implementations that ideally run on several CPUs and so on. And the last part is the um, actual application to uh, real life problems where we use our methods, we use our code, our implementations, and then we uh, can try or we plan to uh, work together with experimentalists so to see how we can help them in um, advancing or accelerating their uh, synthesis. So the main part of the funds, like almost like 80%, is meant for salaries. So it's really to, to pay the workforce. Uh, and the other, the remaining 20% will go on research equipment because we need really, um, to, in order to do large scale modeling, we need very efficient, very expensive uh, supercomputers. And, uh, and the smaller part will go on uh, travel, so to visit scientific conferences, to, to for promotional, uh, uh, promotional activities and so on. So, but the majority of the funds will really go to people. So the prestige of being awarded an ERC grant uh, will allow me to build a top-notch research team 
uh, which will not only warrant the realization of the grant, but also the, the growth of my career. And I, I hope that, uh, that being awarded in your C grant, that I will have more applications that we usually have, because um, one of the difficulties we face is that many young people are leaving science to the private sector and my project heavily relies on applied informatics. So uh, these people are typically used very heavily in the private sector and uh, this ERC grant, I hope that we will be competitive, not just in terms of salary, but also in terms of uh, other benefits what, uh, what the ERC offers.